Canadian Luge Association presents The Sport of Luge. Legend has it that long before the wheel was invented, the Inuit discovered travel by sled after watching polar bears slide down icy slopes. Every winter throughout Canada when the snow falls, Canadians pull out their sleds and head for some recreational sliding on the hills. Besides being recreational, sleds were also used as a form of transportation in the mountains of Europe. Residents of isolated farms would slide down to the villages on sleds and return pulling their sleds piled with supplies. Racing sleds began a century ago. Over the ages, sledding has taken many forms. The ultimate form is the sport of luge. There are three types of luge. Luge sledding, natural luge, and artificial luge. Luge sledding is the recreational form of luge which occurs on a snow-covered hillside. Luge sledding, like tobogganing, can easily be done throughout Canada. The major difference between tobogganing and luge is that you don't ride a luge sled, you drive it. To turn or steer the sled, the slider performs three simple motions simultaneously. Apply pressure to the runner with the leg in the direction of the turn. Pull the rein up on the opposite runner and lean into the turn. In luge sledding, the slider slows down and stops by pressing their feet flat onto the snow. The Canadian Luge Association offers luge sledding lessons in which there are three levels, bronze, silver, and gold. Every person who takes luge sledding lessons receives a personal record book of their achievements. Luge sledding can also be competitive. In some provinces, luge sledding is in the provincial winter games. Luge sled racing is a great way to test your sliding skills and to prepare yourself for the challenge and speed of a nice track. For those who want to further test their skills, natural luge, a form of high performance luge, takes luge sled racing to a higher, faster level. Sliders race on a natural ice track using a sled similar to luge sledding. 
The steels on the bottom of the runners are sharpened for the iced surface. The same motions as luge sledding are used to steer the sled. In natural luge, sliders attach brake plates to the bottom of their shoes, which allow them to slow down before entering a curve. The brake plates also assist in stopping. Sliders in natural luge attain high speeds but do not maintain the same speed the entire length of the track. Natural luge requires a more dynamic technique than the slick precision artificial luge. Artificial luge, also a form of high performance luge, entails sliding on a bank artificially refrigerated ice track. Canada's only artificial track is in Calgary at the Canada Olympic Park, site of the 1988 Winter Olympics. High tech and high speed combine to make this a truly exhilarating sport. The sled used in artificial luge is unique in that it has no rain. The sliders steer the sled by applying simultaneous pressure with the shoulders and legs. These subtle steering motions are difficult to detect as the sliders fly down the track. Sliders do not require brake plates on the bottom of their shoes as they do not slow down or brake before entering a curve. Racers drive exacting lines in excess of 100 kilometers an hour. Artificial luge, the high-tech version of luge, provides a smooth, fast ride from start to finish. The progression in the sport of luge begins with luge sledding, where the slider learns the fundamentals of controlled sliding. The slider then has the option to move up to one of the high performance and ice track sports. Natural luge or artificial luge. The Canadian Luge Association provides the opportunity to individuals, schools and clubs to get on a sled and try the exciting sport of luge in a fun and safe environment. If you would like to get involved or for more information on programs nearest you, simply contact the Canadian Luge Association.